Uh, this is part two of the loop detector installation. Uh, right here you're seeing the contractor uh, twist the end of the, the loop wire in order to thread through the curb pipe. Um, I'm going to limit my dubbing for the second part due to technical difficulties with my Mac. Uh, I think it's more important that you actually see what's occurring than actually hearing my commentary. So what's the worst part of this job anyhow, the installation? Curve curb pipe. pipe. Is it always the curb pipe? Always the curb pipe. curb pipe So basically when there's no curb, it's pretty good, huh? No? Is it? What makes the best part of the job is when you come to the job and they've already got the curb pipes in for it. <laughs> Okay, here uh, you see the contractor actually cleaning out the pull box that uh, got full of water during the, the cleaning out of the saw cut. He's using a stainer can and dumping it out. Looks like an old loop sealant can, but I can't tell for sure. Uh, what the contractor is explaining here is uh, it's covering up the hole from the curb pipe into the pull box. So when they, they pour the loop sealant, it's not going to backflow into the pull box. Uh, here the contractor is starting to install the spacers uh, on top of the loop at uh, various intervals so that the uh, loop stays in place when you pour the seal on top of it. Three in each one or something? Yeah, but now that's a little bit cooler out here. Yeah. It's warmer when I put the more you put in it, the quicker it gets hot and hard. So it heats it up, you're saying? Yeah, it just heats up. Here you see the contractor uh, pouring the loop sealant into the saw cut on top of the loop wire. Um, you'll see uh, another person follow him shortly with uh, essentially a squeegee tool to uh, push the loop sealant uh, in place along the saw cut.
How long is it taking to harden, really? Uh, this will probably take anywhere from four to five minutes, probably. Yeah. Well, depends on how many of those little red things you put. How cold the road is. Now, you can try other companies. Is that a pretty good pro seal, or are they they're all the same, pretty much? And uh, this wraps up the part two of the loop detector installation and the final part. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to see the show you guys the splice in the cabinet. I mean, a splice in the pull box and a uh, tuning of the amplifier in the cabinet. Hopefully, uh, I'll get a chance with a future project and I can update the, the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Until uh, next time, take care.